Hello everyone, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph again welcoming you to I Care. Wanting you to know again that God truly cares for you and I do as well. Coming to you from Praise Christian Center World Outreach in Channel View, Texas on Houston's east side. Not far from Houston, as a matter of fact, just the connection. The borders are connected. And uh, so I just want to encourage you to come by and visit with us. Come by and visit the church at Praise Christian Center again, World Outreach, 1100 Dale Dale, and it's Channel View, Texas, on Houston's east side. Our number is 281-457-5683. That's 281-457-LOVE. All right. I want to get back to what I shared with you in the last session. In the last session, we talked about worry. We talked about how things are so difficult in this day and things are a bad news, full of bad news is just coming out left and right. More and more bad news. Wear the mask, don't wear the mask. More COVID, more COVID, more COVID, different type of COVID, and all kinds of things. Getting laid off from your job. So, you know, what that put, what that does is it'll put a person that don't understand some things, it'll put you in a position where you worry or you're in fear about what's going to happen to you. And fear is just that, is wondering what's going to happen to you without knowing. Amen. So we have to come to the word of God and trust what God's word says for us. And so he has, a, he has specific instructions, um, specific uh, scriptures that he addresses worry and how we can overcome it, how we defeat it. Amen. And so here in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, it says, do not worry about, listen to this, <clears throat> do not worry about anything. I think I'll try that again. Do not worry about anything. Nothing. Hallelujah. But pray and ask God for everything you need. Always giving thanks. And God's peace, which is so great we cannot understand it, will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Think about that just a moment. You pray. Amen. For whatever it is that you have need of, whatever your desire is, you pray. Hallelujah. And not only do you pray, but you give thanks to God. <clears throat> One of the things that will help us all when we pray is to be thankful to God. I want to say this to you again, that God is not a bully waiting to beat you up. God is a loving God, ready and willing to help you in any situation or any circumstance. Because he says, even though we're believers, he says, this is many are the afflictions of the righteous. Good news. He delivers us out of them all. So God will never allow us to be in a position where he will not deliver us from. He is that kind of God. He is faithful. So uh, we have to keep our hearts, amen, and our minds in Christ Jesus because his word will do that. Be very, it's very important that we as the children of God come to the place where we recognize that it's the word of God that works in us to bring us to a place of fearlessness, living life, hallelujah, in the power and love of the Holy Spirit. The word of God in Colossians chapter 1, verse, Colossians chapter 3 rather, verse 15 says, let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking. Hmm. Because you are, were all called into one body to have peace. Always be thankful. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph.